Okay. Actually, I will edit Indeed. this video so you don't have to watch me walk back. But I remembered while I was thinking about it that we got these extra daggers. And I'm going to switch Imowen to a mage. So she's going to need a sling. Because I'm a thief and she's a thief, our skills will overlap. <sighs> Fine. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Imwin will need a sling. Let me save this as, um, let's have one called new recording. So if my recording gets messed up, I can come back. Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. Garayan says this is very unnerving, I know. But you must trust me, it is very important that you pack your possessions so that we may leave Candlekeep immediately. Hurry, for there is no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. All right, I'm ready to go right now. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Let's hurry, child. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait. There is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You're perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue, but now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Okay. Done. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowyn. Emmowyn says, "Sorry, I followed you. 
But I never get out of candle keep, and those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets, neither. I, I saw Garion, and I am so sorry. Kind of figured something bad might happen to you out here. Um, how could you have known? Garion did not even tell me. Imwin, I accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. Can't remember exactly what it said, but he might still have, it might be on his, his body. Anyway, I'm not gonna let you wander around out here all alone. Never let a friend down, no sir. Stick with you until you say otherwise, I will. And that's true, she will stick with you. You see your picture appeared on the side here. Okay, I paused it. X, we're in area AR2700. And let me go to uh, Emily. You're a queer fellow. So you see she has the bow, she has potions of curing. She has a potion of speed and a wand of magic missiles with 10 charges. Um, see, I will have to wait until the next level to dual class. All right, now you notice her arrows, the original game, only had like 20 arrows in a slot. But we got these for her. I'll have her hold the scrolls since she will duel to a wizard. She, in the sequel, she becomes a wizard anyway. Thought I got more arrows for her. All right, well, in any case. Cue to save. Now, if you look up a little bit, you'll see over here is where, if you hit tab, you can see the remains from the fight. So we will head that way. Using the mouse wheel to scroll out and in. This way. Yes. Right click over that. I set it on single file. Now, if you veer too much, you'll run into a encounters, which, I mean, that's up to you. You get experience, you know, when you uh, defeat mo uh, monsters, even animals. Okay, hit tab. This belt has both pluses and minuses. Oh, by the way, if you click this with the mouse, it'll pause also, just so you know. Okay, right click. My friend Garion, please forgive the abruptness with which I now write, but time is short and there is much to be done. What we have long feared may soon come to pass though not in the manner foretold, and certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, forecasting these events has proved increasingly difficult, leaving little option other than a leap of faith. We have done what we can for those in thy care, but the time nears when we must step back and let matters take what course they will. We have perhaps been a touch too sheltering at this point. Despite my desire to remain neutral in this matter, 
I could not, in good conscience, let events proceed without some measure of warning. The other side will move very soon, and I urge thee to leave Candlekeep this very night, if possible. The darkness may seem equally threatening, but a moving target is much harder to hit, regardless of how sparse the cover. A fighting chance is all that can be asked for at this point. Should anything go awry, do not hesitate to seek aid from travelers along the way. I do not need to remind thee that it is a dangerous land. Even without our current concerns, and a party is stronger than an individual in all respects. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahira and Khalid are currently at the Friendly Arm Inn. They know little of what is past, but they are ever thy friends and will no doubt help however they can. Luck be with us all. I'm getting too old for this. Signed E. Probably Elminster. Okay, let's just collect everything here. Okay, so Imowen should get... Does she have leather armor? No. So let's pass her leather armor. Notice her armor class goes from six down to four. The lower it is, the better. The best is in the negatives. Okay, I'll carry the ring up here to save an inventory slot. And I believe she could use a long sword in case she needs to fight hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, her ability is short sword and short bow bow. So she'll need a short sword, which I do not have to give her. Okay. If you want to avoid fighting right now, you follow your path. I'm going to use Q to save and follow your path that you took back to the road. So I believe the note mentioned the Friendly Arm Inn. Let's see. Yes. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahir and Khalid are currently at the Friendly Arm Inn. So we will go to the Friendly Arm Inn and find this Jahira and Khalid. They, it turns out that Jahira and Khalid show up in Baldur's Hello Gate there. 2 as well. So they should be with us the whole game. This guy, Cole said, says, well, a busy day for me today indeed. Strange noises throughout the night, and now a plethora of people strolling about the wood. You do look a touch more hospitable than the last two I met, though. Well met, stranger, I am called Cal said. Now, the last two are probably Monteron and uh, that other guy with him. I believe they're evil, so <laughs> uh, that would be part of their problem. Um, I'll say in number one, stand away from me. I very little trust left after last night's event, and I'll not waste any on you. House said, well, I imagine you're either the cause or a victim of the carnage I heard to the north last night. Then, um, it's a shame what the iron shortage has done to people's manners. You would do well to treat people you meet with a touch more respect, at least until you determine if they're a threat or not. You'll not get far if you don't make friends, though there are a couple of fellows on the road to the east that would suit your demeanor quite nicely, I am sure. 
And uh, I will say, uh, if I wished your opinion, I would have asked for it. Leave me. Call said says, as you would have it, I wish you luck. You're certainly going to need it. Hey, I will edit the video between walking, probably. All right, this is Montaran and Czar. Um, I will speak to Czar. Montaran, you are so aggravating. She's disturbing to my demeanor. Czar says, a child wandering the wilderness. Surely you must be none too bright to be traveling these roads. Montaran, and ye look a bit scuffed too. A fine pair of troubles, all your own. Czar, indeed, I can offer you healing potions, if you wish, as a token of goodwill. Um, I'd be grateful for any assistance. Czar, nothing to fear from these simple potions, and I'll not even hold you in debt, though your conscience knows otherwise. Oh, he's trying to make me feel like I'm in debt. Monterrand. Just like all good people, we gained a potion of healing. Czar, perhaps as payment, you would, you see he's already asking for something. Perhaps as payment, you would go with us to Nashville. It is a troubled area, and we mean to investigate some disturbing rumors surrounding the local mines. Some acquaintances are very concerned about the iron shortage specifically where to lay blame in the matter. You would be useful, though. I'll not hold you to it. We are to meet the mayor of the town, a man named Baron Gaskill, I believe. Monterran, your conscience be your guide. Um, I'll say I would join with you, but I must meet someone first. Perhaps you will go with me. Czar, we precious little time, but it's best to travel accompanied. Montaran, I will go with ye. Ye owe us for our time, though. End dialogue. Okay, now, let me pause this. You spoke at me? Notice he, he is neutral evil. You can't trust generally evil people. And Czar is chaotic evil. Now, I'm going to move the scrolls to Imowen as she will become a spell user. I will move Montaran's armor to Imowen and Imowen's armor to Montaran because studded leather will bring her armor class down to three. Now, the Potion of Speed I will give to Imowen because it will stack on top of the other one she has, and I don't plan on using them very soon. But the Potions of Healing um, will split among everybody because if somebody gets damaged, they need to be able to heal themselves. Okay, so they don't have anything too valuable. I will move Montaran in front. I have no equal, but I prefer to work alone. And I'll put myself second here. Tab, you can see everybody's name. Let's follow the road. Sweet lightly, Toss. This better be good. You press the bottom right to choose everybody, but let me click party AI to off. Okay, click this to select everybody. We'll go single file so that whoever gets attacked will be the front person. Use tab every once in a while. There's a diamond in, I believe, this tree right here. And we'll need that money to get, um, get a katana. At your service. <laughs> See diamond. What need ye dead? Sleep lightly, Taskmaster. I'm not talking to every person. I know. Um, well, we could talk to some people later. 
but I'm pretty much going to do a direct path through uh, for a while through things. Oh, there, wonder. Unless I want to pick thy something up. a moment to indulge an old man. All right, so the old man who would be Elminster says, Ho there, wanderer, stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh unto a ten day since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without decent conversation since. Traveling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, May I inquire which pertains to thee? I'll just do the first one, not to imply anything, but how do you measure up to your own standards? Pestering strangers about their mental state doesn't seem all that well adjusted to me. The old man, who is Elminster, says point well taken, and thou hast answered my query most adequately. I shall think of thee as determined instead. I shall trouble thee no more, as thou art more than capable of the task at hand. North is the friendly arm in, where I am certain thou shalt find trustworthy friends awaiting. I have said too much, and taken too much time from thee. Fare thee well. Okay. Now there is a ring of protection yeah, plus one blade. up this way. I will send oh, hello. him to get it. There's a rock with it in there. You see the rock is to the right here. You follow this dirt road. Now, the gearbling, um, let's mm -hmm. see. I'll just shoot it, and down it goes. Okay, let's grab if the you ring. Insist. Now I'll show you what the ring does. Okay, you see my armor class is three. And let's see if it shows my saving throws. See saving throws, 13, 14, 12, 16, 15. Okay, armor class three. And uh, the first saving throw is 13. Now if we put this on, notice the armor class went down to two. And you see the saving throws all went down. They got easier to do because this is a ring of protection, but it has a different name in the enhanced edition. It used to just be called ring of protection plus one. All right, cue to quick save. Now, spoke at if me? you follow the Go left edge of the map, you can avoid most encounters, which I'm going to do. I've soloed a lot of this before, so um, all right. Now we'll just shoot that. But you know he's using Something a dagger. Troubling you? So I'll keep him here. Hardly worth my time. And Montaren's using good. a long, a short sword. I'll Go put him suck here. your blade. Uh, uh, Serpentine! Serpentine! What is it? What you want? Okay. What need ye get? I'll do your toil. To the friendly arm. Okay. Let's. I'll do your toil. Up here, if you go up, is the entrance to the friendly arm. You should be able to rest without 
any trouble. There's a powerful ring for wizards here. Since Imwin yep. is going to be dual classed, I'll have her grab the ring. I've done had enough of this. Now let's see. Your voice is ambrosia. He has Larlock's minor drain. All right. You spoke at me? Let's save this under progress since we're about to be in a fight. Go suck your blade. There are hobgoblins or goblins around the outside. There's a quest you would get from a lady um, who's in an entrance to the left here somewhere. Right somewhere, let's see, tab. Yeah, this door here is where you would get a quest to find a ring and you would go around the outside fighting the goblins or hobgoblins or whatever to get her ring back. Um, we'll do that maybe some other time. Okay. I just wanna get to a certain stage before I stop this recording. Now, I'm staying away from the steps up here because I don't want to trigger the guy. Okay, Stop I'm going to move Zar here. You cold? I'll move my guy here. Very well. And I'll move Imowen here. I've done had enough of this. Spread people out, and this I'll move my Taran up. He'll kind of draw the guy down there so we can target Go him suck your blade. with the other three party members. Mm. And I'll cue to quick save. All right, I'm pause. What need you get? I'll do your toil. Oh, there we run. go. Tarnash says, "Hi, friend. I've not seen you here before today. What brings you to the friendly arms?" Um, nothing much, really. Just road-worn travelers looking for a place to rest. Remember, two people tried to kill me in Candlekeep, so I'm watching what I say to people, how much info I give away. There's obviously something going on here. Garion was ambushed and killed. Um, let's, and uh, Tarnesh says, I see, I see. Pardon my being too forward. But you, you've the bearing of someone I've been looking for. About your height, they were. Same style of dress or thereabout. I dare say you seem to be the splitting image of them. Might you have traveled from Candlekeep by any chance? Um, I'm going to say Candlekeep never heard of it. Tarnesh says, really? I would beg to differ. You fit the description. So I think it would be safe to assume you are the one I seek. Don't move. I have something for you. Notice he turned red, and I have it to pause when enemy is sighted. So Montaran, me? I'll have him swing with his short sword. Huh, In you're a queer fellow. With an arrow. Yes. Me with an arrow. But Montaran troubling you? With Larlock's Minor Drain, which will go very quickly. It has a short casting time. Okay, you see he cast, and I'm gonna have Your him to cast it a second time. Okay, we got him. This better be sleep lightly, Taskmaster. I am an excellent leader. 
Just ask any of my surviving... All right, all right. Okay, first the staff will go to Imowen for when she becomes a wizard and uh, the sling. the spells. Ah. Bounty notice. Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Theophilus, the foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 200 coins of gold. As always, any that reveal these plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. So I'm worth 200 coins of gold now. Okay, let's head inside. Now, Dorn is here, but we're not going to speak to him. We don't want to trigger insist. the stuff hey, with him. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. Jopi, I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. Me uncle's in Baldur's Gate, and I can't get there to see him. So I say, how come the roads are cut off? Jopi says, where you been these past few months? The roads are crawling with brigands and bandits after every scrap of iron you got on you. Surely you must have fled some on your trip here. Lest you came by the west road, that is. And then I say, why is the west road still open? Jopi says, if there's ever a book shortage, that road to Candlekeep will be the most dangerous of them all, I assure you. But these folks are after metal. So they're sticking mainly to the larger trade routes between Baldur's Gate and Ah. And guess what? This here inn is smack dab in the middle. Oh, it all. So metal. They're after metal. Okay. See, Khalid and Jahira. Okay, so first, Monteran can keep, uh, Zar can keep the dagger. Monteran will give the short sword to Imowen. I'll move the long sword to my guy. So Monteran can keep the leather armor. Actually, let's give him, let's give him a dagger. So he has something. Okay. Now, if you click, um, options. Uh, click this guy, the face, and click Reform Party, and we'll remove Czar, and we'll remove Montaran. Done. I'm you already be disturbed. Now leave me be. Your company be toil enough as is. Montaran says, as you would have it, I likely would have put a dagger in ye eventually. But for now, ye have been adequately useful in Stop dialogue. Stop touching me! Zar says, you, you're letting me go. But we've shared so much, so many good times. This is truly a sad day indeed. Goodbye, so sad. Blah, 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 and all that rot. Okay, we leave them at the tavern. And now, let's get... Jihira How and How long must we wait here? 
Things stir to the south as we sit. Greetings. You, you look familiar, says Jahira. Though it's not your looks, I am not sure what I expected, but I believe you are Gorion's child. I am Jahira. This is Khalid. Khalid, good, good to know you. Jahira, we are old friends of your adopted father. He is not with you. I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his accompaniment. Khalid, if, if he is passed, we share your loss. Jahira, Gorion often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians. If he should ever meet an untimely end, however, you are much older now, and the choice of your companions should be your own. Khalid, we could t travel with you until you get settled, help you find your lot in life. Continue. Jihira, it would be a fitting last service to Gorion, though we should first go to Nashville. Khalid and I look into local concerns, and there are rumors of strange things happening at the mines. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage. You would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. We are to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gast Kill. I say your company would be welcome. Jahira says, well, good. We'll leave as soon as you're ready, though it should be soon. End dialogue. Okay, let's pause that. Nature servant awaits. Okay, if you look at Jahira's thing, Jahira can use club, quarterstaff, and sling. Since Jahira can use a shield, but not if she's using a quarterstaff, we're going to get Jahira a club, which she has two pluses with. We're going to get her a sling, so she has a missile weapon. And we're going to have to get her um, bullets as well. Khalid can use a long sword and a long bow. He has a long sword, so Khalid needs a long bow. And Khalid has splint mail armor. Uh, he also has this potion, which we'll put up here. And we'll put her potion, the potion of invisibility up there. Okay. She has studded. Okay, I'll need to sell some of this stuff and identify some things. Okay. Put Jahira up you in front. You couldn't have made a better choice. She's going to have the best armor class. And you notice her charisma is 15. Yes, oh, um, for the group. All right, she'll talk to Bentley Mirror Shade. It's been dreadful slow business lately. Bentley Mirror Shade says none too many travelers have been through lately. What with the supposed troubles down south? So what can I do for you? And then I will, uh, Jahira will say, what do you have to sell me? Use the middle one. And Jahira will buy the club. It doesn't look like he has a katana. So unfortunately, no katana here for me. Um, but we do need a sling. And for bullets, she will need at least 12 of those to fill all her slots. Bye.
Now, I don't see the question mark, so you can't identify here. Um, I don't need two armors, so I'll sell one of them. She'll learn the other one. Now, I'm going to give Khalid the extra long sword in case he breaks his, but I don't need extra sh uh, short bows. And I can sell the diamond, and I'll sell the letter. The diamond is worth 500. Okay. Now, Jahira, I will buy splint mail armor for her. That's adequate. I'm not going to buy the plate. And I will buy for Jahira. Um, I'll buy her a large shield. And I'll get her one round of arrows for the ones that we used. And I'll get me one round of arrows. And for him, he needs a longbow. Buy a longbow. And so he'll need arrows for his longbow. Twelve. Buy. So if you go down, we can sell that leather armor. I'm going to ground the staff. See, the sling, she can still use the shield. And also with the club, she can still use the shield. So we will give him the backup long sword and the bow. Since he has uh, the two-handed bow, when notice armor class two when he's using the sword, armor class one, because he can't use the shield when he uses a two-handed bow. That needs to be identified. Oh, she needs about 60 more arrows right now. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. Using the mouse wheel, you can go down. moves Imwin up with the arrows. Okay, and we are ready. Yes? It says here in the journal, as I have little else to do and few allies, I should devote some time to investigating the cause of the iron shortage in the region. My next stop should be the town of Nashville to the south. Okay, but we do need to As identify the items. And right now we don't have a wizard. You are welcome here in Gile Glittergold South. What sort of cures? Put the question mark there. Ring identify. It's a wing of wizardry, but notice it's called Ever Memory here. It'll double the amount of first level wizard spells. Let's identify the belt. Notice for the belt of Antipode. Um, well, I'll show you in a little bit. Now let me put the ring down and identify the ring. 
believe that will be all the magic items that are unidentified. As you direct, better cult guide your eye on your travels. Okay, the ring, identify. Notice armor class plus one and saving throws plus one. Now, since Emowyn, I mean, um, Jahira is going to be in the front, I'm going to give her the ring plus one. Most of the stuff will head her way. And it drops her armor class to two. Now, the belt, it doubles all fire based damage taken. So, just because you, so unless, and it has cold resistance 100%. Unless you're dealing with like winter wolves and you know you're going to get cold damage, it's not worth it. Okay. Okay, and what we're going to do... Group. Is we will save the game here and pick up in the next episode... We will be heading, um... Even with infravision, I prefer the daylight. Jahir and Khalid would have me accompany them to Nashville. So Nashville will be our next stop. All right, thank you for watching.